Hello everybody. It is Sunday on the farmstead and um, I have not done a video in probably two or three weeks. Um, a lot going on. A lot I don't really want to talk about but um, ah, it's hard to um, do videos and be happy and smile all the time when you're hurting and a lot has happened out here and um I don't like acting like I'm happy when I'm not so anyway I didn't mean for all that to happen but um the problem is people don't talk about it and people should talk about it more um reach out to your friends okay all right so anyway what I was going to say is show you things that I've been working on for the last few weeks. So, one thing that I did is you could, it's so bright. So, my whole top of my coop, um, I added tarp to because there was a terrible wind and thunderstorm a few weeks ago and it totally flooded the inside of my coop. It, it flooded it. That's where my two, um, baby goats died they didn't die from the flood they went in there and it was wet and cold and they died that was a couple videos ago um so anyway i decided um it's coming up on winter i really need to make it um windproof rainproof better than it already was so uh, ignore that i look like i'm homeless and that piece sticking up i really don't give two rips and i didn't want to do a video because i looked homeless but i just don't I literally just don't care. Forget about that piece. Anyway, okay, so look what I've been doing. Um, I've been out here since literally like 7 o'clock this morning. Okay, so this tin right here used to be on top of that hen house. There were two pieces right here and right here. And um, it was still kind of getting rained on in the um, hen house. And so I thought... I'm gonna take it down, use the tin for the sides, like, I'll show you. Like I took all the rest of it down that I had done. But anyway, I put like 10 bags of brand new shavings in here. Um, anyway, it's dry, it's nice, it's awesome. But um, then there was a bad thunderstorm last night and the tarps caved in with all the rain leaves piling it down and then the wind was so bad it blew off the top of the coop in some places like not blew it off but like see how it that's not supposed to be like that that is um oh, there's bugs over here Ugh. um that like the zip ties came undone and the whole coop um chicken wire came up anyway this all this tin was up over here look that crap right there is from my middle shed in the thunderstorm it blew over into the trees so what i'm gonna do is and it's hard to do this crap by myself it's still fun i still love it but it's hard so anyway what i'm gonna do is take this tin and um just nail it up to the side to protect it from the wind and the rain so what i did before I can't really hold the phone and do it at the same time but I took two pieces of plywood that were on the floor of my old metal shed and look I got a new building delivered a few weeks ago I love it so much so I'm moving everything over there I'm figuring out this pile but anyway what I did is I took the plywood that was on the floor of that old metal building and I knit, screwed it all into the side so that's good on this side nothing can get through and I'm taking those feeders down I had a client make them for me I thought they were awesome but um, even with lids in them and bottoms on them um, for one it still gets wet and the food still um, there's a lot of like gnats over here Ugh. anyway um, I lost my deck. I'm trying to thought. oh um, the feeders still get food stuck in them so I'm constantly banging and clanging on them Taking something and shoving it down in there to dig the food out and knocking it around. Then I noticed some little creatures coming out here. And look, that hole is not supposed to be that big. I don't know if you can see it, but it's ginormous. And so every, I had six feeders up. Now I only have two and I'm about to take them down. Um, I'm trying to repurpose stuff that I already have on my homestead 
and use it for something else. Um, like that plywood for the old metal building, using it for the sides. Anything to block the wind and the rain I think will really help. Um, so... So anyway, what I, I can't hold the phone and record at the same time, but what I'm going to do is take this tin and start on this side and basically go around as long as I can um, to the sides and then find something else to make it look semi-decent and board it up. I'm going to have to probably take these tarps down, which is going to make me so mad, but um, I think I'm going to have to put plywood on the top of them. I don't know because it... Um, it lags so bad in the middle, like it sags really bad. Is lag a word? I don't know. Um, also, I wanted to tell you another idea that I had because I have a goat <laughs> that I've named Big Mama. She is about to have babies, and um, she needs a place to have the babies. I don't want to build a brand new barn right this moment. So what I'm going to do? I have this huge 800 square foot coop and run. So what I'm going to do is. Um, build two or four birthing stalls, probably two. So where the chickens perch is right there, I don't know if you can see it. There's a chickens perch right there. I'm probably gonna wall this off, give the front half to the chickens and the back half to the goats, because the chickens eat the goats feed, the goats eat the chickens feed, and it drives me crazy. Goats ain't laying eggs for me, and um, the chickens ain't either. Quite frankly, they're free loading right now. So, I need to get that squared away. Um, but I'm going to put two more posts in the ground. Because this is 16 feet wide. So, I only have a post on the sides. And then one in the middle at 8 feet. So, I need to drive two more posts in the ground right at 4 feet. And then I'm going to get um, a little two little 4 foot gates at Tractor Supply. And attach them to those... Um, posts and then I have tons I don't know if you can see it there's a whole roll of chicken wire or um goat fencing that we never finished using for our fence we had extra and so I'm gonna wrap that up in here but this is easily eight by eight probably in each birthing stall so that's plenty for a mom and babies to bond to nurse to stay away from the bucks and the other does that might try to steal the babies also about that i had 17 goats you guys know uh remember i bought 13 at the sale barn and then i had my original three does and a buck remember jojo boots and karen so um in kind of looking around at all the goats that i had bought um i decided that oh in one of my posts I made, I didn't put it on YouTube, but on my Facebook post, I, um, look, I'm just going to sit down for a minute. This is literally so fun. I literally love it. There's Big Mama right there. Okay, so, um, I bought 13 goats at the auction last month. I bought three more bucks and 10 more does. And remember, two of my does died. They were sick. Some of my other does got sick, but I took one to the vet. We treated the whole herd with antibiotics and dewormers and eye spray. And so when those two died, I had 15. And then I had a lady come out here and ultrasound all of my does. And nine out of 11 were pregnant. I was so excited. And so I decided that you got to pay to stay on this farm. I don't need four bucks. They got the job done in 30 days. I loved it. And so, um, I took two more, two bucks back to the auction, um, yesterday and then one pregnant doe. Um, and so now I'm down to 12, which is fine. Um, eight out of 10 of my does are pregnant and I have two bucks. I don't want to leave my whole breeding up to one buck so I have two my original Trump and then one little black pygmy who's actually walking away he's right there he is so cute um <clears throat> I'm not gonna need them once they get these two pregnant I'm not gonna need them honestly for like nine months maybe when these goats have their babies they're probably gonna be due like big mama's due next 
she was far along in the ultrasound. She's definitely due next, but I don't know when because I bought her from the auction. The other ones are all due um, end of February and then in March. And so, um, I need to get those birthing stalls ready. But basically, in March, she'll they'll be nursing their babies. I'm going to leave them on them for 8 to 10 weeks. And then sell more of the bucks and um, keep the girls. So, I'm not going to need more bucks. She can't breed brother to sister. And I would rather bring new blood in and not breed fathers to daughters. So, I'm not going to need any, honestly, until, um, I don't know if March is when, um, four months. And then I leave, um, three more months. That's minimum seven months that I'm going to need another buck. But I kept two because Trump is my favorite, my original. That little black one, I would like to get, um, smaller breeds out here. And so, breeding the larger ones down to a smaller size by half pygmy or half Nigerian dwarf um, would ensure like I can pick them up and carry them and then um, it would just be easier for me not to have huge bucks huge um, goats so I did keep big mama I was really going to take her back she is ginormous and I honestly don't even remember buying her um, but she got in the back of my car so anyway her horns are huge. She's probably going to... Well, I hope she's not going to kill me one day. But they're huge. She's kind of mean. So I don't know if she's going to let me be around her when she has the babies. But that's my hope is to bottle feed a couple of... Um, I mean, bottle feed all the babies. But only one feeding a day. And then I really want their mom to raise them. But some of my goats are hard to catch. So I want to ensure the babies come up to me when I need to treat them or feed them or capture them for one thing or another. I want to train them all to the milking stand. Um, so anyway, there's a lot of stuff that I need to do. Also, speaking of, look at Goofy on my daggum fence. She just flew up there. I need to clip all their wings. And listen, earlier today, I took um, extra fence that I had and cut the fence and put a roll of it and zip tied it underneath there. So now the chickens used to get out there and now they can't anymore. So I've been working literally all day just doing random farm chores. So that's kind of 12 and a half minute update. But um, I'm going to upload a video that I did make about a week ago when I started all this out here with the new fresh bedding. I found this idea on Facebook. Look, I took a brand new laundry hamper that I bought at Walmart just for this and um, put hay in it. And they love it. They totally eat that all the time. So anyway, also, I'm going to ask y'all's opinion on something. Um, I found somebody who could help me edit my videos and help me shoot like an intro video with me and the kids. Um, I know before I said like, I just don't care about editing. I still don't care about editing. I don't know how to do it, and I don't want to spend all day doing it, but if somebody knows how to do it, and I could pay them something each time, and then I could maybe put more videos out, and then I wouldn't have to have such short videos, or um, I could do something and then finish a project later, and then he could add it to it. I don't know anything about that, but if y'all think it'd be funner to see nicer quality video, holler at me. If you want to see my normal, ridiculous self doing whatever I'm doing, um, that don't bother me either, but... Um, I do want to grow my channel. I do want to like document everything me and the kids do out here for the most part, like farmstead wise. And so I think to have like better quality videos might help get uh, more viewers and subscribers. So y'all please share these videos and anybody that you think would be interested in them, like your friends or family. Um, my Facebook comes and goes. Sometimes it's a lot of drama and I really don't want any part of it. So I've deleted the app off my phone for now, but I do still have, um, the YouTube. So anyway, so see this big hole, I'm about to get all this tin and start screwing it all up and making it even. And then I'm going to find some wood because a sheet of plywood was $20 and now it's 27 because the price of lumber has skyrocketed. It's ridiculous. Jamming up my farm projects. Anyway, I'm going to get to nailing this tin up, but I just kind of wanted to give you a whole farm update. And, um, just kind of like anyway, I'll try to be better at it, but I literally, I do love it out here. 
it um, is a lot of work. It's hard to do it all by myself, but it just is what it is. So, anyway, there you go. 15 minutes. I appreciate you guys and um, for following our journey and encouraging us in your comments. And um, anyway, anything you got to say, holler. But happy Sunday. Y'all have a good day. I'll give you an update when more of this awesome project is done. All right. Okay, bye.